is a girl she's a star she's got style steffi star you see her face around the town she's popular steffi star Hi, I'm Stephanie Weinstein. Oh, <laughs> I'm Meredith Keach. <laughs> and we were chit-chatting. We didn't even know we were on. We have a real estate team of 11 people. We are number one in Easton. We are all over every town, everywhere, all over the nation, all over the world. <laughs> Whatever you need, call us at Weinstein Keach. We've been having fun with videography and Gregory recently. Too. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen you guys. Meanwhile, there's one person here, our guest, mm -hmm. whom... I love dearly. She's the cutest thing ever. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls, introducing Kathy H. Cosgrove. <laughs> and I, oh, Kathy, say hello. Thank you, ladies. Hi. Hi, Hi everyone. Kathy. Hi, Hi, Kathy. Welcome to our podcast. Thanks for having me. So I always like to say, Maris, like, who's Kathy? And I'm like, Kathy, first of all, I love her, number one. Number two, she is the ultimate Bruins fan. I'm not sure that you are going to find anyone who loves or knows more about the Bruins mm. than Kathy H. Cosgrove. It's true. And I like calling you Kathy H. Now that I just found out you have a middle initial H. What's your middle name? Helen. Oh, Kathleen Helen? Catherine. Oh, Catherine Helen. With an Catherine A, with a K. in the middle. K. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what? Mm. K-A-T-H-A-R-I-N-E. Catherine. Helen. Catherine Helen. Yeah. Yeah, get that right. What's Folks. your maiden name? Nichols. Nichols. Where did yeah. you grow up? Braintree. Oh, you're a Braintree. Home yeah. of the Braintree Womps, yeah. Oh, she's a womp. What the womp. heck is a womp? What is a womp? Wampanoag Indian. Oh, oh, wow. Is that allowed? They still allow it? Um, hmm, I have a feeling I think they're changing. They yeah, are? They are changing the name, but I think they're keeping the mascot logo, I believe. Oh. I'm not sure. Now I'll have to check that. Oh, I mean, brain tree people. Remember when you'd have redskins? Mm -hmm. yeah, is that allowed? Mm -mm. No. Oh, oh. Now they're the Washington Commanders. Oh, the Commanders. Okay. Wait, somebody else still has a name that Chicago is Chicago Blackhawks. Oh, mm. oh. Mm. Yeah. Blackhawk is that Native Chicago? American, but mm. is that a real Native American tribe? I believe so. In Chicago, yeah. Well, it's the logo is the logo is an is an Indian with feathers. It is. Mm-hmm. So if you dressed like an Indian for Thanksgiving, is that like blackface? You know, I don't know. And what? it's it's very conflicting because you would think like for Braintree, for example, we're like honoring the Wampanoag Indian. We're not making right. fun of it. We're saying you know, Wampanoag must have settled in the area and somebody back in the 1600s picked that. Yeah. I'm not sure. But I was having a themed Thanksgiving and I was going to invite people to dress up. I'm well, I did see an email from the schools, and they said something that I've, that affect like people's religion and their um, culture, nationality are not something which basically meant like don't dress like them for Halloween. Hmm. Well, what about if you're hosting Thanksgiving? Well, I maybe think... just stick to pilgrims. Yeah, but weren't the pilgrims the bad people? <laughs> and Anthony wants to be. He has a costume. Anthony wants to be the chief. And he's not a pilgrim. Well, not according to the book I'm reading. Oh, oh here what we are you go. reading? She's reading the worst book in the United States I haven't of finished it. It has it taken is, me months to get through. It is the most horrible. You can only horrible. read 10 pages at a time and I have 80 left. But it's about the rise and fall of the Comanche Indians. Oh. And it's about beatings and rape, pillage. Ooh. Yeah. And this is her light reading. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't like... I mean, I think it's kind of like in the world today, right? What we have going on today, right, is everybody kind of plays their part in the nastiness of what goes on. And all of a sudden, there's an atrocity. And then you kind of wonder, did it just, was it just a random act? No, it's acts of war. War is horrible. 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 I don't like to fight. Women are mutilated, raped, pillaged, murdered. Along with children. Dragged to the streets. Yes. And that's why if we were in charge, none of this would be happening. Probably. Anyway. Um, I do mm. have pilgrim hats. Okay. Oh, you do? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, I have, I put that out for decoration. I have a turkey hat. I mm -hmm. have been stressing out about Thanksgiving like you wouldn't believe. Everybody does. Well, so I, I host every year I and I'm fine. I and I love it. I absolutely love hosting. So this year, my friend Kim Lazarian said, let's do it together. And I said, fine. Next thing I know, her daughter's boyfriend's parents are coming from New York. <laughs> now, I live in a condo, okay? I don't have this big sprawling home with this giant kitchen. Like, I have a three-level condo, so there's room, but there's not that much room. I know, but what a compliment, Stephanie. Really, like, Kim isn't going to be like, come to Stephanie's house if it's a really bad time. She's going to be like, no, it's so much fun. The food is so good. Well, we do. So we have come. a lot of laughs. Yeah. And so Tony's doing two deep fried turkeys mm. because last year he did a deep fried turkey and I did a regular turkey and we did a taste test and everyone said, mm. hands down, the deep fried turkey was absolutely delicious. It only took 45 minutes. Wow. The skin was crispy as crispy could be and the inside was juicy. So good. The mm. juices were pouring. So we took, we kind of took like a poll, whoever I was with, and they're like, I said, should I do a regular turkey again in the oven and Tony do his? And Cliggy said, Anthony should do two deep-fried deep fried. turkeys. And mm -hmm. I said, who agrees with Cliggy? And everybody raised their hands. Huh. So now he's going to be doing two. How many pounds are we talking for these 20-something. Each one. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, so I'm having 20-something people. Okay. And so... But I we finally figured out that I'm setting up my garage. We're gonna hang white sheets. Perfect. And we're gonna put tables in there and it's gonna be the bar area. Perfect. Right? You need a bar like there's gonna be a lot of young people and everybody likes drinking on Thanksgiving. This has changed my life. How are you gonna hang the white sheets? I don't know. I asked Anthony, he said, Don't worry, I have it. I don't know what he's gonna do. I feel like I need to be involved. Can you? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Good stuff. Yeah. So that's going to be the bar. So I just feel so much better now. And I don't want a million different dishes. I need to just keep it traditional. Simple. And simple. That's Thanksgiving. Turkey, mashed potato, stuffing, cranberry mold, broccoli. Cranberry mold? Broccoli? Uh, well, Auntie oh, Benny makes thing. the broccoli. Oh, my God. It's, it's like so crack. Good. You know, it's okay. got the, all the bad stuff you in it. You do a cranberry mold? Uh, cranberry jello mold. It's half cranberry, half jello, and it's a mold. Gloria Aronson is bringing that. Oh. It's delicious. My mother always made the cranberry jello oh. jar 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 mold, too, and there was always stress whether it was going to come out of the mold or not. I don't know if it's going to come out of the mold. It was a whole thing. Mm -hmm. So she's doing that. And Gloria's making mashed potatoes. Oh, and sweet potato pie. There you go. And probably some corn. That's it. So I'm keeping it simple. Stuffing? Of course. Okay. Yeah. I don't Gravy. know if you said that. Yeah, stuffing. I don't know who's making the stuffing. I, I haven't perfected my stuffing recipe yet. What will you do for apps? I think I'm just going to do, I have a giant board. I might just do one big giant charcuterie and maybe some shrimp cocktail. Mm. That's it. That sounds good. With shrimp cocktail, do you buy it already cooked or do you... Cook it yourself. Um, I think cooked. The big ones, I think at Costco. I was going to say, if you buy the frozen bag at Costco, yep. the, big, the big frozen bag, yep. and thaw that out, they're delish. Cooked or uncooked? Uncooked. Uncooked, devined. Yeah. Oh, uncooked. Uncooked, yeah. uncooked oh. peeled, oh, devined. So then you just throw them in the pan, mm -hmm. and they cook up so quickly. Mm -hmm. Are you going to saute them or boil them? Boil? Yeah. Yeah. How do you cook them? What? How do you cook them? Saute. Oh, even for a cold shrimp cocktail? I don't, I never even knew I was supposed to boil it. You just dump the frozen shrimp in the hot water? Hot water. water That's all I've always done. Minutes. I didn't know you could, I mean, I sauteed if I'm making a meal. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it'd be equally good. I just did it recently. I can't I hadn't I thought about even... doing it for a shrimp cocktail. All right. Who knew? And then put them on ice and then right. make sure they're dry. They have to be dry. They when they get dry. wet, Ooh. it gets nasty. Oh. You got to dry them on paper towels or towels or oh. something. Oh. And then you can put, you can make them like the morning of or something. Cause it, yeah, it the, takes yeah. two if seconds. If you boil them, it makes your house stinky. So oh. you got to do it well in advance of anybody coming over. Plus, oh. if you're making that many, you're going to need like a bunch of different frying pans. Just throw it in a pot of big pasta bowl. It's like pasta. five minutes it boils. Why didn't I know this? I don't know. That's why we have these discussions. Oh, yeah. My God, this is huge. Yeah. Yeah. And then some cocktail sauce and some lemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Done on ice. You can make your own cocktail sauce. You need horseradish yeah. too. Oh, yeah. Right. So ketchup and. Yeah. Depending on how spicy you like it. 
I love shrimp cocktail. Mm. Mm. I feel like you should come. No, I have this five of us and this kids. Too many. Yeah. Yeah. She's got too many people. Yeah. There's kids. And so Meredith doesn't really have, you're not, usually you get a big to go thing for Thanksgiving. Yeah. So, you're not doing that this year. Um, yeah. So when my mother, ho- my mother in law hosted, she would make every dish in the world. It was really incredible. Mm. It was the most delicious. But I always felt badly because she cooked for days. Yeah, it felt it's like exhausting. And used every container in her house. It was like a two hour all hands on clean up dishes afterwards. Ugh. The food was incredible. But, um, you know, it was her thing. It's what she, mm. she loved to she do. She probably enjoyed it. Yeah, she did. And um, I don't know what they're doing. They've downsized. But, um, yeah. and my mom goes to my brother. She has for years. And so we don't, I don't invite anybody over. I feel like you should go somewhere. <laughs> I. It's so nice. We don't, I know. it's so infrequent that we get to just be home. And do nothing. And enjoy our day. And we go watch crappy football, you know, away versus Sharon. And, you know, they have good heart, but it's not good okay, football. Okay, right. But there's, Sharon loses every year pretty much. Mm. Don't Sometimes they? away oh, loses. Oh, so yeah. Back and forth. Yeah. You never oh, know. Sorry. You, never know. <laughs> you could have a player running in the wrong direction. I yeah. mean, it is like, yeah, it, is, is, it yeah. is bad. Yeah. Um, Where is the game this year? Is it home or away? We were Sharon last year, so it must be home. Um, and my husband doesn't like turkey. And I, I don't, I think I've made one turkey in my life and he doesn't really like it. So what will you eat? I don't know. You know, I usually did. Uh, when Italian? My kids, when kids were little, we did like the, the Thanksgiving in a box. You could order it from, you know, restaurants or um, caterer. Yeah. But it wasn't amazing. Mm. My kids didn't care because they don't, they don't, you know, they eat like sparrows, but they're eating a little more now. And everybody has to make something. Even when they were little, they had to make something. Oh, interesting. Because that's the spirit of Thanksgiving, right? Everybody brings something. It's like a massive potluck. And um, so maybe you should have a theme this year of what everybody wants to eat, and then everybody can make something. So if you want to do Italian, yeah, or you could always do Chinese. That's a good idea. Stay in your pajamas all day. Yeah, but Chinese food has too much sodium in it; it makes me oh. swell up. Mm. But oh. Italian might be good. Don't do Italian. That's a good idea. Delicious. Do you think some of the Italian restaurants are cooking? I you could get it the day know. before. Italian food's good the day after. Yeah. Maybe. Get some meatballs. Get some yeah. meatballs. Or Italian kitchen. Who has better meatballs? I don't know. If, oh, actually, that's oh. not true. We actually See? used them for catering once for one of our, all of our Ames banquets. Might have been lacrosse or football. So good. Yeah, they what were are you doing good. for Thanksgiving? I host. How many people? Well, this year I have two, four, six, eight, eight or nine. Okay. And four dogs. Oh, who's, mm-hmm. well, you have two. I have one. Oh. My stepdaughter has two, and my other stepdaughter has one. So that will be fun. And Me? They, the dogs get along? Mm, yeah, for the most part. They just okay. kind of met, really, this summer. So, okay. but, What kind? Big? Uh, I have a boxer. Okay. His name is Bergeron. Bergeron. You know who Patrice, Patrice Bergeron Obviously, is? Obviously. Duh. And I guarantee you my dog is not retired. And... Then we have Jake, who was a rescue, who has three legs. Jake. He's tripod. Aww. And we love Jake. What happened to his leg? We don't know. He was found in, I believe it was Arkansas, tra- tra- traveling through the streets, dragging his leg. And a police officer took Aww. him, raised money, had his leg amputated, was Aww. fostered, and my two, my stepdaughter and her wife uh, got him. He's the oh, best. And oh. then my other stepdaughter has also two rescues, and they're like mixes. I'm not sure what. Now, are. Kathy's stepdaughters are twins. Mm-hmm. And one of them is a coach mm-hmm. for the Rhode Island College Women's Basketball. Oh, cool. And last year they went to the Final Four. And it's very exciting for us. We have a history of coaches in our family, Mike's dad was a coach for youth, his whole- Mr. Cosgrove, didn't he start Jack Pop Cosgrove. Warner? Started Pop Warner football in, in the town of Sharon. Yep. No way. Yeah. yeah. And um, he coached uh, all through his adult life. Um, and then my husband coached Pop Warner and he coached freshman football at OA. And my brother-in-law was the head coach of University of Maine football for about 25 years. Now he's the head coach of Colby College football. 
And now Jenna is following in the footsteps. And we're very proud of her because she took over a program that had won like three or four games. And within six years, she was in the final four. And she's going again next wow. year. Wow. She is gangsta. Yeah. yeah. She's she's great. So we actually have their fundraiser tip off Friday night. Her season starts in a week. How exciting. So mm-hmm. you and Michael go to the games? We do. Yeah. 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 A lot of the games are local, you know. So, yeah. So we're excited. So it's very busy between the Boston Bruins and Rhode Island College Women's Basketball. My social calendar is full. Do you go to a lot of the games or watch them on TV? I go to 22 home Bruins games, which uh-huh. is half a season. That's a big commitment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. It's your thing, though. It's my thing. And yeah. so do you have parking? What do you do? So are we, you are there season ticket holders? Yeah, for yeah. Bruins? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And um, do you have good seats? We sit loge one, which is center ice, row 17. I'd say that's a yes. Excuse a yes. me. <laughs> center ice. We actually have a guy <laughs> who has a little Excuse lot. Me. She basically <laughs> looks right like this, right? center ice. That's awesome. So, yeah. we're And we, we have a, a lot. We have a guy. We text him at like 2 o'clock that we're coming in, and he saves us a spot. For parking. For parking. Oh, brilliant. That's well, you got to awesome. do that. If you're going to 22 you games to. in the city, you have to have your parking dialed in. Otherwise, you're not going to go. Oh, yeah. Or it was you, like, you'd have a driver. Well, yeah. It was the, like the time I got Celtics tickets. So I told Aunt, I'm going to get the Celtic tickets. You deal with the parking. He's like, awesome. Okay. So I get the tickets. I'm like, okay. Day of the event. Parking all set. Yeah, don't worry about it. I got it. Okay. I knew he didn't. So we pull up to the first garage. He's like, yeah, do you have your reservation? He goes, no. He goes, well, you can't park here. We're full. I'm like. <laughs> now we headed to a second garage. Guy goes, don't even come. We're full and you don't have a reservation. <laughs> Third garage, I am steaming. Mm-hmm. I said, you know what? And it was pouring rain. I was livid. Guess what I had to do? Take public transportation. We had to park and take public transportation. <laughs> livid. I said, you had one job. Yeah. Yeah, you only and, have to mess that up once. Well, and to make matters even worse, the Celtics were playing the Knicks. The Knicks fans are horrific. Ooh. We had women behind me screaming and screeching in my ear. I wanted to turn around and punch them in the throat. Ooh. They were saying some nasty stuff. Ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, so I haven't got tickets again. Well, the other thing you have to remember when you're going into Boston for yeah. a sporting event, you cannot bring a truck. Right. Oh. Yeah. I can't bring my Suburban in the yeah. city nope. anymore. Yep. Nope. So, like, my husband has a Suburban and I have an Audi, so we drive. They won't park you. Yep. They, they won't don't. park you nope. at all? No. Nope. Nope. You're kidding. I brought to Red Sox. Thank God it wasn't, like, a big deal. It was frozen Fenway. Mm. Yeah. And he was like, mm. with my Suburban. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. He yeah. was like, you can park over by that truck over there. But he was totally irritated. And if it was mm-hmm. a full event. Did he charge you extra? Nope. But I had another parking garage. It was like, get out of here. I p- was putting my nose in to go down. And he's like, you can't park that in here. Mm-hmm. You'll get stuck. No. Yeah, they mm-hmm. were just like little cars. They could fit inside my oh. Suburban. Yeah. Oh. So it's, it's not a practical car for no. the city. No. You, it's is not. your Audi a truck or a car? No. It's the it's the Q5. So it's like the little, it like a, you know, it's yeah. a four door. So you can drive that in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I, I would that. say like a small Explorer is about the best you're going to get. Yeah, because the other thing is I've been hit and run a couple times too because the Suburban or a truck would be so wide that you people coming in whack you going out. They whack the corner of your truck. It's not yeah. fun. Not fun. Yeah. Now, why the big truck? Why not? Mm. It's the best on the highway. It's so good on a highway. We it is. I love when trips. you drive. Yes. When Although, we have to go to events yeah. and Meredith drives, I love it. I feel yeah. so safe. Though my back shocks are out, so it's a little bit like this. Oh. But it feels I like you're in I thought you got those boat. fixed. No, Sam said they're on back order, though. Oh. Whatever the part is. Are you going to be okay to drive on Monday? Yeah. Oh. I got to get my car clean. Though. Where are you headed so, Monday? Oh, we have uh, some uh, luxury event. event. Yeah. Nice. So, all right, Kathy. So, tell us about your routine going into Boston for the Bruins. Yeah. 
How do you okay. pregame? So like, like yeah, what do you what do, do for pregame? If you have a, what time is the game like average? The game starts at seven. We leave okay. at four thirty. Okay. We get to our parking spot at about five twenty-five. Okay. We walk across the street to a standing reservation at Filippo's restaurant. We sit in Cristiano's section. I have one espresso <laughs> martini. Michael has a tangerine tonic. We get two salads, calamari, and we split the eggplant. And then we proceed to- Excuse me, have you ever diverted from this? <laughs> Sometimes Michael gets the Boston Garden, which is uh, chicken parm, prosciutto, mozzarella, and eggplant. Now, wait a minute, have you kept track of what you ordered and if they've won or not? Like if he's Ooh. diverted to the- I, I think you should keep track Ooh. of that. Could, you know, their win could have something to do with the food you and Michael are eating <laughs> before the game. I love it. 525 yeah. at the restaurant. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It takes about 55 minutes, 55 minutes. 55 minutes. 55 minutes, yeah. And then we walk to our seat, and uh, I and have to be there for the national anthem. I was oh, actually yeah. on TV Monday night. Oh, yes, you were. Singing the national anthem. Oh, yeah. There you go. I know. Um, and do you know you know everybody around you? Well, sometimes. Um, it depends if they not, sell not the tickets. Not really, no? yeah. Oh, okay. There are a couple people in the section over that we see that, um, that are there a lot, but... Um, People, it's hard to go to 44 home games, you know, when you have season oh. tickets. That's how much, there's 84 there's regular seasons, 84 games in a season, and half of them are home. Is that the most games that no. any team plays? Baseball. Baseball plays over So 100. you said you did 22. Wow. Do you, can you buy a 22 pack, or do you have to sell, you buy a full pack, and then you have to sell them? So, um... The seats are owned by somebody I know, and I split with him. I've been splitting with him for about 20 years, 25 oh, years. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah. So that's a win-win people. It's a win-win So do you pick both. which games you want to go to? Um, he kind of picks his first, depending on him and his family. You know, he has a son who's a hockey fan, and then he sends me a list, and I pretty much take I, the I rest take of them, them all. I take them all. Because if I can't use a game, you'll fortunately... Rhode Island College and the Boston Bruins don't have conflicts because the uh, Rhode Island plays on Wednesday and the Bruins play Tuesday and Thursday. So sometimes we have oh. a conflict on a Saturday, and if that's the case, I sell. The, I have friends that I sell them to. Yeah, so it works. Have you been to a Bruins game? No, oh, never. Got to go. No, to a yeah, it's fun. I know you go to the Patriots. I games, go to the Patriots, but. I heard the Bruins games. You first of all, you so cannot leave. You don't leave your seat during the game. Like it's not you. You you, you could miss yeah. something well, in right. five seconds. Right. It's total attention. You have to watch, watch, watch. So you're not even barely talking to Michael. You are no. focused on that game. It's so fast moving. So fast especially moving, especially with the pros. Like it's just and so it's hard. Fast. It's it's e you know people say oh I can't watch hockey. It's so hard. Well, it is on TV. You right. can't even see the puck. But you're like live, and it's just so exciting. So exciting, and they're so huge. They're because they're and they're on their skates, so they're just like enormous human I know. beings. Who yeah, came up with this game. It's I can't even imagine being out there. Like they're just so big and strong, so big. like coming at you. I, I think, and you know, I, I think all athletes are amazing. I mean, my husband was an athlete, and I was not at all. I was Maybe a was I. faculty cheerleader, and that was about my athletic ability well, in high school. Well, but today's day and age, you probably would be an athlete. Maybe. But um, I think hockey players are the, the toughest, the strongest. I mean, they're doing all that on skates. I agree. Yeah. I think they're the toughest. Yeah. And it's funny it's because the hardest. they only play like an average of like 20 minutes a game. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's I mean, it? The, the game oh, they're is in like, a full yeah. body sweat. You're kidding. So like yeah, because each they're so intense. They go out and the, yeah, it's just a full on sprint. Maybe a minute. What? At yeah. a time. That's you why they were always that. jumping yeah. off and on the ice. I yeah. had no idea. Yeah. Yep. And they get mad. Like, it, my kids play, mm -hmm. and they'll get really angry if you stay out too long. Who? But how do they know when to come teammates. in? Um, a lot of times you'll see them, like, yeah. I need a forward or whatever. Yeah. Or they just do a line shift if there's a whistle. Because you go out. You, and it's like going out, doing suicides, and coming back in. Exactly. Like, you're exhausted. You shouldn't be staying out there because you're tired. So, which, oh, I hear it from Shay. If, like, her teammates aren't getting off the ice. Yeah. So you have to know yourself to get off the ice. Yeah. Well, yeah. When you're little, they have a no, buzzer. But, no, but as an adult. Well, sometimes, you know, if you're in a, if you're in a situation where the puck's in 
the zone and you got you can't can't just leave. No. You can't just be like, excuse right. me, I want to get <laughs> I off. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> excuse me, can I, have a, can I have a replacement, please? So you got to kind of wait until maybe the puck clears and then you can scoot off and somebody can come replace you. It's very exciting. There's so many rules. There's a lot of rules. Yeah. I don't know. And the Boston Bruins are celebrating their 100th year this year. They were formed in 1924. They were the first American team to join the NHL, ca- Canadian team. Some of the Canadian teams had already been um, playing, but Boston was the first. So this it's a big year for us. It's the 100th centennial celebration. Oh, no. Kathy, this is, what are you doing for the celebration? <laughs> well, I got my new jersey. So, How many jerseys do you have? I have four. Who? I have Brad Marchand as my New Jersey because he's our captain. I have Patrice Bergeron, the Pooh Bear logo. And then I have Zidane Chara, Hockey Fights Cancer, that I bid on for all my cancer peeps. And then I have a military appreciation jersey that's also Chara. Yeah. Who has been your all-time favorite Bruin? Well... I could say Cam Neely because I had a crush on him, and he... you know who my crush was back then, who? Ray Bork. Oh yeah, I was I mean, obsessed. Yeah, Meredith, did you have a, a Bruin crush? Oh, oh. okay. Cam, oh, Cam was hot. Yeah, he was is a he small a coach? Show. He is the president. Oh, oops. It's okay. Yeah. So, anyways, it's going to be a great season. I'm looking well, forward to it. Current Bruin games, though, are gentrified. Hmm? I mean, what? do you remember going in the 80s <laughs> to Bruins games, like to the at playoff the games at the Old Garden? So what I'm saying is it's gentrified, meaning it's like, it's basically corporate now. It's oh. it's beautiful seating, beautiful accommodations, beautiful, it's not even like a snack bar, I wouldn't even call what it. What kind of now. snacks do they have to eat? The food's gotten a lot better over the years since, you know, I mean, like you were saying back in the old days, like yeah. Michael had season tickets in the balcony when I first met him and my seat always there was always a drip uh, it was just a drip what do you mean a drip like something was From dripping the ceiling yeah it was so gross and the people were <laughs> but you like, didn't care you, you didn't just, care you were right. just happy to be it was there. a it was like the crowd at the bleachers back years ago prior to Red oh, Sox winning fa- oh, it yeah. was like I would go with my so brother much and he'd like stay close to me because right. it was a rough <laughs> crowd <laughs> Yeah. yeah, for sure. Now, for sure. were you this big sports fanatic before you met Michael, or it just kind of happened because you married into this sports family? Um, well, I would say um, I had a, f- a friend, my good friend Colleen, who passed away. Um, she was one of my cancer uh, cancer girls. Um, she got free tickets. And, you know, when you're single and someone calls you on a Thursday at 3 o'clock, you want to go to a Boston Bruins game Amen. tonight for free, you're like, yeah. uh, okay. And, and then you got hooked. And then I got hooked. And Cam Neely had what's called a Gordy Trick hat trick. You, Gordy Howe hat trick. You probably know it. It's when you get in a fight, you get a goal, and you get an assist in the same game. What? Gordy <laughs> Howe was a, a player of You're back kidding. in the day. And Cam Neely had a Gordy Howe hat trick at my first Bruins game. And I was like, wow. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So then I just started getting into it and watching and, and the, the, the guy at work would give me tickets once in a while. And this is the guy that I now buy from. Wow. So so are you a screamer fan or are you quiet? Because there's definitely two types. You she is not screaming quiet. Or you're, you say nothing. Oh, I speak. Yeah. I speak. I speak. Yeah. yeah. Kathy's not quiet. Yeah. I speak. I yell. I, I call them. I call them by their names. I have my little nicknames for them, you know. Come on, Charlie. Come on. No. Like, I'm, I don't know. I'm into it. And I've, I've met a bunch of them before, so I'm, I'm kind of like, feel like I know them. Yeah, you know them. I now know you're them. pals with them. Yeah. I yeah. mean. You're a big fan. Yeah, I am a big fan. I yeah. feel like you need to hang out with them. Yeah. I know. I've tried. You I mean, really like I do. said, I have met them. I've met them at autograph signings and uh, a charity event. And quick, quick story. I was in. New York City visiting Jenna when she used to work at Fordham and we were going to a Bruins game and we were walking down the street towards Madison Square Garden and all of a sudden we're walking by a hotel with a bus and it's the team coming out of the hotel to get on the bus to go to MSG. (laughs) Dream come true. (laughs) And I was like, oh my God. (laughs) So 
of course, I like pull her off to the side. I think she saw the bus first, actually. I give her a little credit. And uh, as they're coming out, I'm going up to them saying hi, and she's snapping pictures. And she said I was like one of the, uh, one of the players, Milan Lucci, who just came back to the Bruins. Thank God we love him. He was, had the flu. Oh. And I was rubbing his back, asking him how he was feeling. And oh. she was captured. Jenna was capturing all this. It's wonderful. <laughs> Guys, are you playing? Who is rubbing my back? <laughs> are you okay? And, and why is she? Do rubbing? you need some soup? <laughs> are you pl- gonna play tonight? Are yeah. you gonna be okay to play tonight? Yeah. Are you yeah. sweating? What's going on? Yeah, I know, but that was fun. Yeah. So how exciting! Yeah. Now yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know if I told the story before when I flew. My sister went to George Washington University. So my mother and I, my mother Lois, said it. We need to go visit your sister. I said fine. And so we were flying from Boston to Washington. So I got on the plane. It was a snowy, icky day. I walk on, and there is the entire Celtics team in first class. I'm talking Larry Bird, oh, Mikhail Johnson, Eric Casey Jones, all the old timers. Gigantic human beings. They were so giant. <laughs> and so they were playing cards in the, in the aisle. Because their arms were so long. <laughs> and so they were just playing cards with you. I was, so I just went from person to person, person, uh, Mikhail, Kevin, M- Kevin, Kevin McHale. McHale, loved him. I went from player to player to player and got everyone's autographs. Ooh, good. And I said, well, this plane's not going to crash. There's no way, <laughs> no way we're going down with the entire Celtics. <laughs> no way. I mean, everyone, the coach, it was amazing. That's awesome. Isn't that awesome? That yeah. awesome. I know. It's I'll incredible. never forget it. Then we had to go through, you know, and go to Washington and do all the stuff. And my mother's like, oh, my God. <laughs> my mother loved history. And, you know, we got to the Lincoln Memorial. Mm. She's like, God bless America. <laughs> I'm like, this is so boring. Basically, Kathy before every Bruins. Game. Exactly. I'm like, I guess you have to like history to like Washington, D.C. <laughs> yeah. So that was my, my, you know. Did you like D.C.? I don't know. I was so young. Oh, my mother's yeah. making me do all these things I didn't want to do. Yeah. Um, but my sister, she worked her ass off at GW. Mm. Oh, my God. So hard. Great school. I know. I know. So, um, but yeah. So that was that. Wait, I'm, I want to know about the food at the Bruins because food's oh, a right. big thing. Well, we we typically eat, you know, like I oh, said before. Oh, you eat before. before. But um, there has been an occasion where we're running late. We found um, a... So they have, let's see, they have your typical chicken fingers, french fries, mile-long pizza slices, but they also have some like sliced turkey and sliced um, roast beef sandwiches oh. at one spot. They mm-hmm. have like a little Mexican. T- 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 I was trying to compare yeah. it to the uh, football food. It might be a little bit better. Yeah, it sounds like it is. Yeah, yeah. You can get like a, um, uh, like some Mexican food, like and plus they have a lot better alcohol at the garden. Oh. They have drinks besides just beer. You can get mixed drinks. Well, so you can get mixed drinks at Gillette. Oh, you can? Well, yeah. Upstairs. So, but, well, where our section is, Tony has to walk like 10 miles. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, just get two at a time. Well, the old garden, you could only get beer mm. upstairs, except for downstairs, there was one bar. There was like one bar downstairs. And when I met Michael, we were sitting up in the balcony and- do you remember Bartles and James wine coolers? Yeah. Yeah. Berry was my favorite. I after every period, I'd make You'd him run walk up? all the way they down. They give you a glass bottle? No, 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 no. They pour it in a cup. Oh, okay. I would walk all the way down to get my Bartles and James. Could you get and two I'd at walk a time? All the way up. <laughs> That's Bartles a lot of James. work. <laughs> that is so much work. So well, I know you have you have the one um martini before the game. Espresso. Espresso martini. So she likes the caffeine. Right. I need the caffeine to get me pumped up. Right. And the bartender at Filippo's, Christiana, who's also our waiter, makes the best espresso martini. I love an espresso martini. Mm. I do too. I don't drink them enough because I go out at night and I can't drink one because. You can ask for decaf cappuccino or decaf espresso. What? Oh yes, there is such a thing. Do you I've get? I don't get the Baileys in mine. I get mine dark. I get the Baileys in mine, but I like them dark too. But you, you have to just ask. They they will have decaf. I, I am learning. Mm-hmm. So I've learned about shrimp. Mm-hmm. 
I've learned about the decaf espresso, espresso. martini. Mm -hmm. I've learned about the some type of a hat trick where you get into a fight. Steph. What? I'm going to get you for Thanksgiving. My girlfriend oh. makes her own espresso martinis, and they are to die for good. She gets a mix. Oh. Oh. The f, -F -O or et e f f f n f, -F n e f f e n and it comes in a cool bottle she knows exactly what to i'm oh. gonna get it to you for to have for thanksgiving oh oh it's oh, really wonderful. good she makes it do you have a shaker yeah yeah okay yep it's delicious oh, this she is makes so exciting it yep looks like we're having espresso martinis at thanksgiving perfect well, now what happens is i i start drinking before the guests come and then by the time they come i don't care what's going on <laughs> yes perfect i don't know what's going on with the food I'm bombed. I don't care. Now, I want to give credit to Stephanie, too, which I learned from her. So growing up, you know, if my mom would host, we'd have, you know, she had beautiful dishware and plates and platters and like everything comes out on this, these beautiful things that need to be cleaned. Mm -hmm. And and same with my mother-in-law hosts this magnificent, but like it all needs to be cleaned. And it looks so pretty, right? Gorgeous. Like It's beautiful. Right. But it's also like, I don't know, a lot of work. And um, Stephanie uses those tins. And then once they're done, you can make it to go. I think you did you are you the one who brings well, takeout can, containers? Yeah, I tell people to bring their own takeout containers. And then she doesn't clean up. She just takes those tins, the baking whatever aluminum. tin aluminum yeah. and throws them out. Do not bring anything to my house without baking it in a tin. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So you probably just have to manage garbage. I do. After an we have event. to manage garbage. But, you know, and right. My mother used to host Thanksgiving my whole life. And my sister and I had to sit and we had to polish the silver. Yeah. My mother worked for days cooking all her food. Right. And right. We spent hours cleaning up. Right. We don't have time for that. And no. that's so not fun. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. Right. It's a but lot. I didn't know about the, the decaf. So now I can order. A decaf black espresso martini. I wouldn't risk it. Why? Me personally. Because. Well, it, it, I to, usually say. If they don't. Do you have decaf espresso? And they go, yes. I go, I, I sure. Because if, <laughs> if, sure? if, if I'm awake at 3 a.m., I'm, I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. But like somebody. Because if you go to some random place, Steph, guaranteed they're going to be like, that's an $8 upcharge for that espresso. And if they're not going to be like, no, I don't have it. And, and then at 3 in the morning. But don't you think that's a little effed up, a, a decaf espresso? No. And I order them all the time. When I go out for dinner, I order decaf espresso. But why? Like, it doesn't even make sense. Well, if you like the taste. Yeah. Yeah. And there's just something about with dessert having right. like a nice espresso or a cappuccino. Do you order dessert when you're at? Not before a Bruins game. Yeah. No dessert. Oh, yeah. That sugar crash should be like too He much. usually gives me a little... Pizzella. Oh, yeah. With like the powdered sugar on it. So what do you drink when you're at the Bruins game? Right. So I I only have one beer and it's between the first and second period. This is, everything is very calculated with you. I mean, but Steven Stein was the same, remember? He did? He yes, was? Yes, with his big meals. Oh, right. His epic meals. Oh, right. If he was going out for a big dinner. I'm like, I want to hear you He would start to hydrate. And he was like, why do you know I do this? Because because it's your thing. Right. So if it's your thing, you right. have a regimen, yeah. right? Yeah. You have a program that right. you do, how you do it. I mean. Well, now I'm never going to think like anytime there's a Bruins game and it's home and I know you're going. I know what you're eating. Yeah. I know where you're parking. Yeah. I know who your waiter is. What time you're leaving. I know mm -hmm. what time you're leaving. What time you're arriving. I know what you're drinking between first and second period. Mm -hmm. This is amazing so information. If you happen to be watching the game and it's the break, you'll be like Kathy standing in line right now <laughs> right. getting a beer. Yeah. yeah. And what, what beer are you drinking? So, remember I was telling you earlier, we used to walk all the way downstairs to get at Bottles and James yeah. back 25 Bottles years ago. Well, <laughs> we got to know those bartenders, and he used to put it on the side for me so I didn't have to wait in line. Oh. Well, those two bartenders still work at the new Boston Garden, and they are now behind are Loge, probably like my age, okay. behind Loge 7. Which is mine. Which no, is the Sam Adams bar. Oh, wait. I'm oh. sorry. What? They what? So they are, oh. they're still there, and they're behind Loge 7 at the Sam Adams Bar. So I get a Wicked Hazy, which is like the Sam Adams light beer. Do you, what do you drink at um, Gillette? Oh, first I get hammered. <laughs> um, we go to um, we go to Tavolino, 
And um, I have um, a martini yeah. at 11.30 in the morning. Ice. Yeah. So I get my dirty martini. How do you How do you then last all that Meredith, time? Meredith, I have the best effing time. I would need So I nap. get that. Then I get, um, sometimes I get a, a Bloody Mary, but I decided I'm not doing that anymore. So I do the martini at 11.30. Then I do a vodka soda if we have time. At Tavolino? Yeah. And then once we get to the stadium, I just drink vodka sodas. And I laugh. And so I never where's know. the alcohol? Because I don't ask. I'm me. like kind of right next to you. Remember, I came and I saw know. you. A I was weeks ago. so excited. I screeched with delight. Well, the power of social media, because she posted mm. from her seat, mm. and I saw it, and I said, "That looks like the same view as me." <gasps> yeah, you must be like one section over, and you were one section over. That was, it. was like Stephanie. So Stephanie. Ne- next thing I know, she was sitting next to me. <gasps> now you guys tailgate. Not anymore. What? Yeah, we don't tailgate anymore because we over? don't have we don't have the club seats anymore. Oh, and with the club seats, you got a, you paid for a parking pass, so okay. we had that great parking. Oh, spot. gotcha. And that was fifteen years, and I am You're done. glad it's over. Yeah, I mean that's Too a lot of prep. Much. Fifteen years of tailgating. What What was your tailgate food? What did you do? Ugh. You set up tables and you. Chicken wings, all that. Well, it depends on the game because if it was a one o'clock game, we had to be there at nine when the gates open to get the spot at the end. What if you were to go to the bathroom? There's porta potties. I can't. Yeah. I... Well, you have to if you if you're there early enough. And then it's fine. It's fine. Right. So we would do a breakfast tailgate. We Michael would cook bacon the night before. Everything went in an aluminum tray, and we had a full grill with us, so we would put everything on the grill to heat it up, and then we had sternos. So we would do scrambled eggs. Um, French toast, Delicious. bacon, and sausages <laughs> for yeah. breakfast. Yeah. And then at about 11, we would do steak tips. You know, like we would do like a little lunch thing. It was crazy. And we had a bar. We had a bar I bartended for 10 years at the tailgates. Bloody Mary's, mimosas. And then we had vodka, gin, beer, tequila. A lot of prep. I mean, this a is so much prep. Yeah. And you would have prepped the whole day before, pretty much. Well, you yeah. had your routine down towards yeah. the end, but. My favorite game is the four o'clock game because. You didn't have to do You breakfast. didn't have to really get there to like noon. Mm-hmm. And then you were like pretty much home by like 930. Yeah. You know, so it was like, it wasn't like you were up. At, I mean, to get up at seven o'clock on a Sunday to go to a Patriots game. That's too is much. Not, I can't commit no, to that. I can't. No, no. No, it's too much. And we haven't stayed till the end of a game yet. Anthony doesn't like the traffic. Uh, so we leave mm, before fourth quarter's over. Yeah. I mean, a diehard's not going to do that. But right. You can oh, listen to it on the way out. Jimmy Shapiro has a heart attack every single time. You know, Jimmy, from, he sits a couple rows. Where are you going? Every, I go, Jimmy, stop it. Yeah. I can't. And I have to make excuses. Last week, I'm like, Jimmy, we have to go. Cousin Josh broke his toe. Like, I have to come up with excuses. I don't know what to do. We, we have to leave. We can't stay. The dog. You can always. Oh, you don't have I don't have a dog anymore. anymore. I know. I can always say the dog. I got to go let the dog out. Right. Got to let the dog out. Yeah. So yeah. by you leaving early, do you avoid the two hours that you're stuck there? Yeah. 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 So we're out. I'm home. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Where do you park? I'll have to tell you off air. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because mm. um, that's that's a big thing with 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 Gillette. I feel yeah. like. It's I true. mean, at least with Boston, there's a, a million different ways to get in and out of the city. Yeah. There's right. only one road. Yeah. Oh, it's to re- Gillette. Yeah. It's you ridiculous. know what I mean. So it's right. It's not it's not as easy as yeah. uh, as Boston. But, yeah. No. Yeah. So are you going? Do you have a game this week? We I don't went. Even know the we schedule. went Monday. We were at Monday's game, oh. which was the hockey fights cancer because that's like a big cancer is like a big, uh, big. I'm a big supporter of the American Cancer Society and um, the, the, com- the NHL. Are you coming that. to our St. Jude's event? No, and twelve twelve. Sure. You know how, yeah, you know how we do it at the brewery <gasps> oh, every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh St. wait, Jude's. yeah, because I went to that before. You always come. Yeah, I did. Yes, yeah, yes, twelve yes, twelve. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What is it? Six to nine. Yeah, six to yeah. nine. Wicked I've, fun, easy, casual. Yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 I went because I brought Sean, yeah, my son, and he ended up. He knows he's really good friends with um, Spence. Yep. Hers, yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're starting to sell tickets soon. Okay, yeah, we're good. yeah It'll we're going sell, live. It sold out the last. It sells years, up. So. It sells I out. Know, We've never I had a, a year. You know what? It's such a great event though because it it's is. casual. That time of the year, everybody has a gazillion things going on. You can just leave work. 
and go. You yeah. don't have to get dressed. You don't have to yeah. do anything. You right. go have a beer. Yeah. And play they do some... a great job. Yeah. They do a great Bingo. job. Yeah. Right. We try... So Mara said this year, I can't be on the mic because I'm usually drunk. And I feel like it. And I don't. Do I? I feel like I've been talking about how much I drink this episode. Anyway, so and then Alex and I end up fighting over the microphone for the raffles. Yeah. Mara said no more. Yeah. And so we because there's a DJ. Yeah. And so he's gonna do it. His job. Yeah. We do not need yeah. anyone from the team on the microphone. I got you. Period. What about the year? Were you guys the year the um, Alexis friend kept winning everything? Yes. The same Brookie's person. Yes. Was, she, was she the one that won the TV? <laughs> yes. <laughs> She was so embarrassed. And she won everything. <laughs> and then we went, and then we had another event at the boutique in Easton. What is it? Um, Bliss. Bliss. We had a Weinstein event. It was before we were Weinstein Keach. And we had an event at Bliss. And Alexa had to pull out the person. And she goes, if this is Brooke Simino, I'm going to kill myself. And we were laughing. She pulls it out. She's like, oh, my God. <laughs> it's Brooke friggin' Simino. I said, Brooke, you are not allowed to be in <laughs> any more of our raffles. It is rude. And people are getting pissed. Oh, my God. I yeah, love so it. she's out. Yeah, I remember that TV. I think we were hoping for it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, we are, we're going to have another big um, gift. Yeah, Brookie and Bernona yeah, told Brooke, us today. Yeah, she's Brooke like, you said, guys needed, you, you need a big item. Yeah, she goes, you and Meredith will be buying a big item. What should we get? I mean, the TV is so impressive, Stephanie. It is. Should we just do the TV again? And the TV is great. Like, like you leave want, with yeah. the TV. I know. Oh, that's great. A new TV. <laughs> even if you, even like your if TV you don't could be two it, years yeah. old, you like find right. a, a place I want for a TV. A new TV. Yeah. All right. So we'll do the scratchy board. Okay. Right. Like that's what we do. Well, yeah. yeah you and I will split one. that yeah. and yeah. we'll split the TV. Yeah. yeah. So, Excellent. Um, yeah. Because they're two fun items to win. Yeah. And then we're going to have sponsors this year. Yeah. So. Well, we had them last year. Well, yeah. Right. But we've already got commitments. It's yeah. It's really good. It's going to be very exciting. Yeah. And it's, really, we just have to go because yeah. the girls do everything. Yeah. Alex yeah. and Brooke do everything. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll, tickets go on sale Friday. Excellent. Yeah. I'll be looking for that. Yeah, it's very exciting. So, yeah. anyway. So, um, so you went to the game Monday, and then um, oh wait, now we wanted to talk about and Meredith, you haven't watched it yet. Oh, the Beckhams. Oh yeah. Yes, you have to watch the documentary. Yes, yeah, I actually was last night when I came home. I was like, you would debate I start it? it now, and then I was like, now nah, because it was late, and I was only just <sighs> like down. I feel like I need to rewatch it because I think I fell asleep and then I woke up, so yeah. I, I have to watch it again. Yeah, what were you was... most impressed by? Honestly, like. When all that was going on with him, I mean, first of all, he's not American. You know, he's, right. he's in the UK. So you didn't really pay attention. I mean, soccer is not big in the US, right? right? right. So you don't, I mean, it's getting it now. Um, but back then, you didn't pay attention to what was going on with him. And I was shocked. Mm -hmm. I was shocked as a sports fan myself about how his the fans treated him. Yeah. Good or bad? Bad. Oh, really? Why? Well, I mean, I don't want to give away too much All for right, anyone that hasn't yeah. watched it, but I mean, it's not, it's public knowledge, you know, it already happened, but it's just pretty much the story of his life, okay? Yeah. Like when he started and all the way that, everything that happened to him when he was um, at, with Manchester United, and then I didn't even realize how many teams he played on, and then he came to LA, I remember that, when he came to LA Galaxy, and now he owns a team in Miami. And He's hot. But, oh, whew, oh, so yeah. Hot. yeah, yeah. <laughs> He is and he married a Spice Girl. And yes. he married a Spice Girl. And their story is amazing. And Don't they're still think? together and have a bunch of kids. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And it's just... I don't know. I thought they're like my two favorite people. I literally just bought Victoria Beckham's eyeliner. Oh, I am having a huge problem with eyeliner. Is it creamy? Yes. And it's a pencil? Yeah, but it's like a soft pencil. That's what I need. Yeah. What's wrong with your eyeliner? I can't. I'm having a lot of trouble with all different eyeliners getting them on my eyes now. I don't know why. <clears throat> Is it your? Are you using a facial cream that's impacting it? Maybe. Is it? It could be. If Probably. You're, yeah, you might have to let it Cause dry I like, before you put right the eyeliner or on. Or don't put any cream on your face on your eyes near oh. your eyes. Oh, all right. I'll try that tomorrow. Mm. Um, so where'd you get it? Online. I started following her. And yeah, David. she's been coming up in my feed and um and uh, for her makeup. Yeah, and I'm kind of curious. So I I started following them, of course, because now I'm obsessed now with them. Oh, good. And I want to know everything about them. I love your different obsessions. Yeah, and I said, hey, I I, I like different liners. I'm going to try it, and so I bought it. 
There you go. <laughs> this is why we need that link tree stuff. <laughs> we do. We're going to start link tree. So now we can, now we're going to get the Victoria Beckham liner <laughs> and we're going to see if we like it. And if we do, we're going to put on our link tree so other people will buy it and we'll make money. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and I did the same thing with JLo. When JLo and Ben oh, got back I together again, oh, yeah. I like, we got re involved. That's going. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Yeah. And Top I, of- uh, Gregory. I bought her um, uh, sunscreen, her bronzer, yep. which is a cream bronzer. It's not like a powder bronzer. And I bought her a face wash, and I wasn't crazy about it because the bottle leaks. And oh. I'm like, I can't. I can't uh, do that. Yeah. Yeah, no. What the hell was wrong with that? I don't know. It was just bad you design. Know what? And I feel like a lot of these products I'm buying, I feel like they're like half filled or something. And I feel like most of it's the packaging. Oh, mm. yeah. And then there's barely any product inside. Yeah. Mm. Really getting yeah. sick of that. Yeah. yeah. It's like a bag honest, of potato yeah. chips. It's yeah. half full. It's half yeah, full. It's why so Why do you yeah. have to make the bag so big? Right. right. Why is there air in here? Right. right. I don't get it. Yeah. So I don't know. But I'll, I'll try the eyeliner. How do you guys take your makeup off? Um, I use Neutrogena. The makeup um, pads. So I no, I don't use the pads. I oh. use the liquid Neutrogena. Oh, the non-oily one, and then I use the little round pads. Wait, so oh, what is that? What are these? This so it's like it's like a or it's like a liquid makeup remover. Yeah. specific. Yeah, Neutrogena oil. Oh, so uh, you pour it on oil the free. pour the it on the little thing. pad, little cotton pad, and take it off, and then I wash my face. Hmm. Um, I've been using this new stuff. I don't even know what it's called. I got it from Bethany Frankel. She's oh. like, oh my God, this stuff. You have to get this stuff. And anytime anyone says you have to get this, I have to stop. I have a problem. I'm like, I, I need that. <laughs> and so when it comes in a jar and you put it on your face and it just, everything starts to come off. Mascara too. Everything. Yep. I put it. In. That's my hardest part because I, I wear know. a lot of mascara. This, it, this takes the mascara and then I take a white face cloth and then I have makeup all over the face cloth so i go through i bought a whole bunch of them and i use a new one every night now sometimes i'm too lazy so then i take out the neutrogena makeup wipe Mm. and then i just wipe everything off the wipes don't but i never wash my face after no 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 do you i'm actually new to the makeup remover scene i mean i used to use what you have and then used to go to bed with makeup on no i wash my face Religiously, like with soap I cannot and water. put my makeup face because I've got I use foundation. I know. All, but I could not put I that face either. on a pillow. I yeah. used to crazy. when I was younger. I don't know why. But I tried to wipe um, this weekend and it was miraculous. But I feel like that's not going to be great for my skin. It can be very drying, yeah. and I and mm. like to use it every night. I but but the pro- my problem is what I'm using is not getting all the foundation off and then it's causing breakouts. Oh, so mm-hmm. I do have a new wash, new-ish, that I'm, is really fabulous. That actually works great. So I don't have to do a wipe or makeup remover and then wash. I just wash. Oh, oh. well, I don't wash at all. And I told <laughs> Meredith last week that I'm going to keep some makeup wipes in my car for when I'm driving home. Oh. I hate going home and I'm like, <sighs> oh, I have to wash right? You have to wash your face. Yeah. Brush your teeth. Yeah. Put on your moisturizer. Put on your. Eye Have you cream. guys tried the Put black toothpaste? Cream. No. Have you? Yes. And I don't like it. Oh. Wait. What is it? It's, it's like, like charcoal, it's charcoal or something. Oh no no no. I no. do not like brushing my teeth with black toothpaste. Yeah, that's weird to it's me. It's a psychological thing. It doesn't make sense. Mm. And you know what? I don't do like anything. minty toothpaste before bed either. Oh no. Nope. Oh. Just no, saying. because then it's, it's like like it's like, like something in your mouth. Yes. Yeah. I oh. have such a hard time with it. and But I tried like a fruity toothpaste with my family. No, I don't like fruity. The kids were like, what is this? I get pres- I have prescription toothpaste. So oh. I go to the dentist every four months for a cleaning. Why do you have prescription? Because um, it was for sensitive teeth, but it's, I don't know what it is, but she's like, your teeth are unbelievable. You are so lucky. She's like, because you kind of have cracks in a lot of your teeth. She goes, but this... Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. I use my Crest White Strip wash. Oh. Nope. Oh, you do the mouthwash. Yep. And then I have my she whatever toothpaste. I forget what it is now. I'll have to text you um, that I get at the dentist. And oh. f- it's like made like it. It's like made my enamel harder. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's important. I have really doesn't fluoride do that? 
Yeah, but I think if you're getting a prescription one, it's probably like got extra superpowers. Super stuff in it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. my hygienist is like, this, and she said it years ago, is the best toothpaste you are ever going to use. Oh. Really? And I listen to everything Nancy Sarnowitz says. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I need to do like a whitening. I just did Invisalign. Oh, good for you. Oh, how yeah. was they that? great. Obsessed. I loved it. And I had braces as a kid, but you know, you don't wear your retainer when you're 16, 17. Well, and the old. other thing too, like as you get older, your teeth start to shift. Mm -hmm. Mine on the bottom are all crooked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, the strips, where I have molds. I have the whole things that like go into your mouth. Yeah. And the um, crest strips are phenomenal. They're the best. They're phenomenal. Oh. I, I have trouble wearing the them. I'm always like. It's 15 minutes. That's it. You, yeah. you, and you're not even supposed to brush your teeth first. You're supposed to just put them, put on, them on, hang out for, and it doesn't last 15 minutes. I they start to, to curl those. off afterwards. But they on my crest, um, brilliant, whatever stuff. My I girlfriend use, uses my mouth, wash too. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Your teeth are nice and white. Yeah, they're not bad. You gotta have white teeth. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You don't want to walk around with orange teeth. No. As Alexa says, candy no. corn teeth. <laughs> Does anyone eat candy corn? I do. I love I do candy too. corn and circus peanuts. Oh my god! What? You can I just tell you the Easter Bunny used to bring us circus peanuts, I, and I was like, "This is the weirdest candy." I'm and the only who one. Gets circus I'm the peanuts. only one in the United States of America who loves circus peanuts. John and Arlene Keach used to get circus peanuts. Well, I'm gonna have to ask my mom. I think it was my mom who loved the circus peanuts. I love them. It was so fact, strange. I want one right now. It what do the they most taste like? Bizarre. It tastes like chemicals. Yeah, it's all chemicals, and it, it's and the most squishy. bizarre texture. <laughs> It's not a marshmallow. It's nothing. It's like a sponge. Yeah, it's a sponge of chemicals. <laughs> and you sink your teeth into it. <laughs> so I think they weird. sell them at the dollar store. It's oh, they do? <laughs> I think I've seen them at the dollar oh, store. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> That's Help me. circus peanuts. And has two thumbs? I do. Oh, <laughs> you're, oh, you're ever wondering what to get me for a gift? <laughs> circus peanuts, folks. Do you I'm like, all in. Do you like puffed molasses? Probably. I bet. Well, I don't know. That sounds sticky on my teeth. And I just got a crown, so it makes me nervous. Ooh. My Puffed first molasses crown. molasses is very strange, too. And Puffed molasses. And you can only, around here, you can only get it at Hilliard's, like at Hilliard's. Really? I'll get some. You can try it. Well, I don't know if I don't. You can just try a little more. Well, I probably would like it. If I like a circus bean, I'd probably like <laughs> Puff molasses. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Mm, what about the bark? Tis the season at Hilliard's oh, yeah. for the Hilliard's Christmas Hilliard's had bark. the Oprah, remember? Yes. Oprah mentioned oh my for God. Hilliard's Bark. Yes. And they went Hanukkah. crazy and then they put on a huge addition. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they created a new candy factory. I did factory. not know that. And yeah. the people who love Hilliard's yeah. wanted access to the candy factory. Oh. You wanted to be able to go through a tour. Is this like Willy Wonka? Yes. Oh. But they said no. Because oh. Board of Health, they said with the Board of Health and the public coming in, it's just too difficult. That's rude. I know. They can't have group showings? No. Oh. Yeah, they could just put like plastic partitions up or something. You know what my daughter said? What? The neighborhood where she went trick-or-treating in, she said, they are so rich. Ooh. They are so rich, Mom, that they gave out whole Hilliard's <laughs> chocolate candy bars. Whoa. Rich. That's yeah. rich. That Did you have trick-or-treaters last night? Yeah. Rich. Oh, yeah. okay, Adam, yeah. fine. I, I um, we had two ton. groups. You had 10 groups? No, no, oh. no, no, not a ton. I said, I oh. think maybe 20, 25 kids. You oh. know what? Next year, before my kids any. have completely aged out, next year, I want to go to the neighbor, the streets by the schools. Columbus, Spooner, Sheridan. Okay. It just sounds amazing to me. I like it. Yeah. Yep. Well, girls, believe it or not, the hour's over. <laughs> That's it. We yeah. I know a lot about the Bruins now. Yeah. Yeah. This is very exciting. Yeah. On to Thanksgiving, folks. Yeah, on to Thanksgiving. Yes, on to Thanksgiving. Yeah, so stay tuned um, for Thanksgiving updates. Well, we'll, thanks for coming, Kathy. Thanks yeah. for having us, ladies. Thanks, Kathy with fun. a Catherine with an A. Catherine with an A. Kath R N H Cosgrove. Cosgrove. Mm. There you have it, folks. Nichols. Yeah. yeah. Nichols. Right. Thanks That's for great, girls. joining us. Yeah. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, so.